hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have a to the power of x equals to x to the power of 12 uh, and here we find all the values of x so i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section uh, and now here the very first thing we are going to do is here first now our first target is to move all the variable terms to the right hand side and we move all the constant terms to the left hand side so uh, first we move our variable term this x to the right hand side for this we need to take the uh, x root on both of the sides or in other words we will take 1 over x power on both of the sides so it will be written as a to the power of x and its whole power 1 over x is equals to x to the power of 12 and its whole power is 1 over x and now here further in the next step we need to use here the nice exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as a to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x and it is equals to x to the power of 12 multiplied by 1 over x and now you see here this x is cancelled out by this x and we get here in the left hand side is 8 and in the right hand side we have x to the power of 12 times of 1 over x so here we again apply this exponent law but now here for uh, this time we, we apply this uh, exponent law from right hand side to the left hand side we write these terms into the exponent form uh, for this we move this one over x inside the term and it will be written as x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power is 12. And now further in the next step uh, you see here we move uh, all of the variable terms to the right hand side and now we move our constant term that is 12 in the left hand side uh, for this we need to eliminate this 12 from right hand side and now we will take uh, 12th root on both of the sides or in other words we will take a 1 over 12th power on both of the sides so after taking this power we write this equation as x to the power of 1 over x and its whole power 12 and its exponent is 1 over 12 uh, and now here further in the next step uh, we need uh, some simplifications here and we get 8 to the power of 1 over 12 is equals to uh, here we again apply the above exponent law so according to this exponent law we write these terms as x to the power of 1 over x and here we need to multiply these terms and it will be written as 12 multiplied by 1 over 12 and you see here this 12 is cancelled out by this 12 uh, and we will get here 8 to the power of 1 over 12 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x now you see here uh, we move all the variable terms to the right hand side and all the constant terms to the left hand side uh, and now here in the next step uh, we uh, uh, we need to focus in the right hand side and you see here the exponent in the right hand side uh, is the reciprocal of its base so that now we need to make uh, this type of conditions in the left hand side it means that we in the left hand side we will make uh, the exponent is the reciprocal of its base uh, so for this we need some working here uh, now here first we write uh, the base of this term into the prime factors form and we know that the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed and its whole exponent is 1 over 12 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x and now here in the next step we again apply uh, the above exponent law so for this now we need to multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 1 over 12 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x. So here we need to can, uh, cancel this term and we get here 3 for the 12. So we obtain here 2 to the power of 1 over 4 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x. And now you see here. Uh, uh, 
uh, in the right hand side uh, the exponent is a reciprocal of its base uh, so we uh, need some more working in the left hand side in order to make uh, the conditions likewise the right hand side so that here so that now here uh, we multiply the exponent in the left hand side by 2 and also divided by 2 so it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 4 is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here uh, you see that now we move this 2 inside the term and it will becomes 2 squared and its whole power is 1 over <coughs> this 2 is multiplied by 4 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x and now you see here uh, this 2 square is equals to 4 and its exponent is 1 over 2 times of 4 becomes 8 <clears throat> and this whole equation is equals to x to the power of 1 over x so here we repeat this process uh, again and again until we will get here the exponent is the reciprocal of its base as uh, so for this we again repeat uh, this process and we uh, now again multiply the exponent of this term by 2 and it will be written as 4 to the power of 2 by 2 and it is multiplied by 1 over 8 and it is equal to x to the power of 1 over x so uh, now again we move this 2 inside the term and it will be written as 4 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by 8 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x and now uh, finally you see here this 4 square equals to 16 and its exponent is 1 over 2 times of 8 is also 16 and it is equals to x to the power of 1 over x and now finally you see here uh, on both of the sides the exponents uh, are uh, the reciprocal of its basis so that now we need to compare uh, both of the sides when you compare the bases you get here x is equals to 16 and when you compare the exponents then you get 1 over x equals to 1 over 16 <clears throat> so from both of these cases uh, we easily get the value of x is equals to 16 so this is the final answer of this question and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify uh, the and verify the value of x so in order to verification of the values uh, we uh, need to copy down the given question statement here and the given question statement is 8 to the power of x equals to x to the power of 12 and now we uh, put the value of x equals to 16 here and it will be written as 8 to the power of 16 equals to 16 to the power of 12 uh, and now here further we need more simplifications in order to make both of the sides are equal so we uh, again write the bases into the prime factors form so we write this 8 as 2 cubed and its whole power 16 equals 2 we write this uh, 16 as 2 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 12 so now we need to multiply these exponents and you see here uh, 3 times of 16 becomes here 48 and in the right hand side we have 4 times of 12 is also equals to 48 so from both of the sides uh, we get the same answer it means that the value of x equals to 16 satisfy the given question statement and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos